Bond card, as I think the case may be. So we've got your yeah, Easter break. Um, so you can see, the sun is absolutely shining, scorching, boiling. And we got to empty the car. But this time was a bit stressful. Um, on the British side of things, our, uh, we do New Haven to Dieppe. Um, quarter past ten is the final um, time you can book in then for the ferry or get to the terminal um, for 11 o'clock crossing. So we leave in plenty of time, we should get there about quarter to ten um, in the night. But then the M25 starts to flood. So this was on Friday, 31st of March. Um, we are stressing, trying to get hold of the ferry company, trying to find out what uh, uh, what time is the latest you can get there. Um, and that's all we can see is our sat navs going up and up and up where the, the M25 is getting worse. So we decided to go around a different places. I used to know where I used to have uh, lorries. Um, and we still, well basically I got there at 20 past racing through lanes and things like that. Not much fun thinking you're gonna miss the ferry. But we got there, 20 past. As we got there, everybody's still lined up. The ferry crossing's got like a four hour delay. Um, or sorry, two hour delay as we got there, but as it turned out, I think we had a four and a half hour delay in total. So there was no rush. But being stuck there, <coughs> not sleeping, we had a good sleep on the ferry. It's a four or five hour crossing. Come out the other side, I think uh, we left the port in France at 10 o'clock something like that and normally uh, it's like 5 in the morning at plus 5 so we're a good 4 and a half hours 5 hours behind we always do the driving when when it sharing it but this time was more of a nightmare just longer hours out more tired so it took us longer we did do it in one it um, but just stopping more often and swapping driving more often more coffee more food just to keep awake but we got here late last night i think it was 5 20 past 5 oh and another stressful thing we got around the castello blanco area um diesel was saying we should have had enough diesel just to get here um so we think right okay well, there'll be plenty of places for fuel around castello blanco on the highway there um or possibly on the, the ic8 no there's not nothing as uh, most cars are the same as soon as you get quite low it seems to go down much faster so we had a sweat on for a good i don't know 20 kilometers my car was saying i had nothing left in the tank we couldn't find anything at all anyway nothing on google nothing on maps saying anything was open and um we just risked it uh, we got a suitor uh into marshy there i know they uh, normally 24 hours we pay a card um and we basically we got it there, there was a petrol station just before which was all open pulled in there their card machine wasn't working to buy the fuel um but literally 400 yards and all was into marsh went into there and thank god their machine worked and we got fuel and we got you yeah. um didn't do much last night obviously pulled up we were thinking that the, the car wouldn't be able to, to come up over the bumps and get up in we thought we might have had to have unloaded it a bit to, to get the weight out of it uh, and then dry it up on but as it happened I got it up on no problem got our quilts out and went straight to bed and we've just woke up I think it's about 12 30. so straight to work a cup of coffee let's unload the car I think we're gonna see how buddy old Joey's up the coffee and have a coffee I think before uh, we get our bearings right and see what we're gonna do today be back in a bed. Over ten four. Copy Roger Dodger. Bon tard. Bon tard. Okay, so we're uh, unloaded. We have got all the tools out. We have put our claws away. We've had a bit of a clean up. We wasn't going to do any work today, but I just can't wait. So what we are going to be doing on the first job here is going to be finishing off the bathroom and look what we got a bath a roll top bath with claw feet um 
don't know why it, but out here a bath seems to be very very expensive and this is an old bath off our last bathroom refit and I thought I'll bring it out here and it's gonna go into the bathroom so we'll have a bath here and it's gonna go there on the previous videos I have told you I'm gonna partition this out slightly um, what's of the wood so we can add the pipe work coming up taps will be coming out of the wall which are them taps there and a shower head coming out and we'll tile that in some sort of Portuguese tile or a uh, like a subway kind of emerald green with cracks in it that's what a tile with sort of like, like that so I'll be a feature wall bath going in we are now going to um, spray the feet um, spray the feet of the claw uh, the claw feet of the bath black just to match in with um, things which are going to go in here as black taps and things I have literally just put a custom batons on my wall there with a plasterboard at it because I've got some oak shelves which I've made back home and I'm going to show you how to oil them up lately the different ways of oiling them and finishing them and there's going to be three weenie edge or live edge oak welsh oak shelves in there so we're going to try to get this finished i have got a massive piece of oak to go in here which is going to be hung with chains let's just see if i can show you some of this the stuff i've done back home brought it out there we are there's the oak shelves there um one two three um we're going to give them another sand and show the different ways of oiling um ending up in uh, hard wax oil but i have got some let me just see that yeah i've got some danish oil here and i've got some let me have a look what is it too and i've got some linseed oil lots of different ways cheapest way middle of the roadway and where's the two Ugh. hard wax oil I haven't used this paint before, but it was quite, uh, well, it's on offer. Um, there's the three different ways I'm going to show you. Um, maybe I'll do three different ones and see how they age in the next couple of months. How dark they might go. But this stuff, fantastic. That's what we want to use. But I'm going to show you the cheaper ways as well. Um, can you see the piece of oak anyway, Tom? The big one? No, I think I did not show you the tea, but is it? Oh yeah, it's out there. Let's just... Uh, Oh yeah, Tom, grab these a minute. Take them off there. This is just some stuff we brought from home I've made in the past. Um, cold hanger, we'll pull that up somewhere. And then that there, I've uh, pre-sanded it. This seal still needs a lot more work, but that's been uh, flat disked. It hasn't been belt sanded because the belt sanded was here. We ain't gonna worry about that because the sink is gonna be coming on top of that. We're gonna place it in. It might stick out a bit too far. I might take a bit more off the back. I might take a little bit more off there. Chains will go on there, chains there, and hopefully that's gonna look stunning. Um, oh, what's some else there? Eh? Oh, another coat hang, I think. I've made in the past. Just been stuck in my shed. And they come out apparently edwardian space saving coat hangers so yeah that's going to be it i'll show you now we're going to spray these uh, claw feet up so we're going to do that now see you in a bit